Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of the Las Vegas Advisor Weekly Update with Anthony and Andrew. Today is Thursday, September 7th, 2023. Uh, a lot going on in Las Vegas, but I think the most uh, interesting news is that they're doing temporary bridges for Formula One. What's going on with that, Anthony? Right. We'll do, well, we'll do a little catch up uh, this, you know, today on what's going on with Formula One. And what they're doing is they're putting up three temporary bridges. Okay. And this is, everybody was like, well, bridges for the people, pedestrian walkways, like we already have, but it's not. These are bridges for the, for, for, for cars. Right. For vehicles, right? So for, for vehicles to be able to get around, because we're getting to the point now where it's getting so bad, the traffic is getting so bad, it'll be even worse when everything shut down during the race mm -hmm. and people can't get to work. Right. So, you know, they're, they're putting these bridges up. The biggest one is going to be, uh, temp these are temporary, mm -hmm. right? And it's going to span 760 feet with four lanes on Flamingo. It's going to go over Koval. Wow. And then there's going to be two others around the racetrack course mm -hmm. to kind of help things get along. So, you know, it just gets crazier and crazier around here, the things that we have to do for this race. That's right around Ellis Island, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. It's all happening right around there. You know, as you come out of the airport, mm -hmm. you can see the um, what they call the paddock, but not mm -hmm. for long. We'll talk about that in a minute. But there's still, you know, there's just so much more to be done here. Okay. You know, they're still doing paving. They're still now they're working on the lighting around the track. Now they're working on putting up the barriers. Mm -hmm. You know, again, we've told everybody stay away from this area you know flamingo and Harmon, trying to cross the strip or you're going to be you're going to curse yourself you're going to hate yourself when you get caught up in that traffic that's very true now uh the race is november 18th but leading up to november 18th they have to test it they have to do a lot right. of different things and that's uh really only six weeks away now yeah and they're doing so much more that is affecting stuff. For instance, a lot of people were saying what are they going to do with the trees mm -hmm. like in front of bellagio well guess what they did I know. I heard. Yeah. They cut them down. Yeah. You know, those trees are gone. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people are, you know, up in arms about this. They're pissed. Yeah, they're pissed. You know, they've got the, the tree stumps are left. Only the tree stumps are left, and they put some, like, metal covering over the top yeah. of them. But, you know, those have been those trees have been there for decades. And, of course, you know, MG, MGM uh, puts out, you know, Bellagio puts out a statement, well, we did it for the race, but we also did it for pedestrian safety. We were going to do it anyway, and it's yeah. for your safety. P pedestrian safety. <laughs> like, like, that'll keep people from running into the trees. Right. You know, I... I They've always got to put this stupid spin on things. Right. You know, why don't you just say, the race is here, the race is going to make us a lot of money. We took out the trees so we could charge people $8,000 for a seat. That you would know? be honest. You know, yeah, it wouldn't really work. You yeah. pay 8000 for a seat and you're looking at a tree. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, yeah, there's, you know, there's, there's just a lot going on still with... Uh, with F1, mm -hmm. FU, some people are saying. That's right. F1 has become FU. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, traffic is a big thing, and uh, these bridges will be going up uh, in mid-October. A lot of people remember the old Hard Rock uh, Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas. It is now the Virgin uh, Casino here right. in Las Vegas. Um, but we got some news about it. What's up, Anthony? Well, you know, since it changed from Hard Rock to Virgin, uh -huh. the crowd counts have been noticeably, you know, big time down. Okay. They haven't really caught fire there at all. And so they're doing different things to try to, you know, bring back some of the glory. And uh, the president of Virgin recently uh, said that they're considering bringing back the center bar. I so, always thought that was cool. I mean, if anybody remembers the Hard Rock, mm -hmm. the center bar was mm -hmm. the main thing at the Hard Rock where yeah. everybody hung out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the Hard Rock was it was known as a singles place. Yes. And that's why it did so well. Mm -hmm. As everybody went there, all the singles went there to meet. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the center bar and another side bar mm -hmm. were like the pickup areas. Okay. And it was, it was a cool bar. It had unbelievable uh, acoustics. Yeah. You could literally hear people talking on the other side. Oh, wow. So okay. that was kind of cool when guys were talking to girls, <laughs> right? You could kind of hear them and see what was going on. But they're talking about bringing it back. And you've been there, right? When it was the center bar. When I was a kid and I had my fake ID coming to Vegas in the 90s, okay, I remember that the Hard Rock Hotel was just the coolest place to go. Yeah. And I remember it was a little off the beaten path. You had to take a cab to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do remember the Circle Bar. And I do remember it being like the rock and roll casino of yeah. Las Vegas with the greatest music videos. And it was just, it was a great vibe. And yeah. they had the joint there too. Yeah, everybody, well, you know, they went to the concerts there at the joint yeah. and then they came out yeah. after. But everybody hung out at the center bar or the sidebar. Actually, I, I, I had a girl tell me once, she yeah. said the sidebars where the hookups happen. Oh, nice. So okay. I don't know what will be the new <laughs> sidebar, but uh, it would be very cool to see the center bar come back. I thought they were crazy for getting rid of it. And, I thought uh, so too. Yeah, now they're I, rethinking it. I remember when it opened, we stood where the center bar was. We were like, well, this is where it used to be. Now well, it's just yeah. kind of a dome. 
What happened? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, now there's slot machines here. Great. Well, there's also the Shag Bar, which is really cool, and that's off to the side, uh, and they have that going on uh, now. Maybe, so maybe maybe that's the new hookup bar. Yeah, maybe they'll keep it. So, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, football season is here. It's here. <laughs> it's here. It starts tonight. Yes. So uh, the first game opening of the NFL, uh, Chiefs and Lions. Mm-hmm. I'm from Detroit. I don't care. If I don't bet on the Lions, I don't care. Okay. But uh, Kansas City Chiefs, Detroit Lions. The Chiefs are favored, minus five. Yes. The total is, I didn't check the total. I'm guessing the total is going to be somewhere around 48-ish. Okay. You know, we'll see how, how right I am. But I did not check the total on this one. But the Chiefs are minus five favorites. Okay. Uh, it's, you know, here we go, man. The football season is going to, you know, start the betting avalanche. Right. You know, you, you, people bet basketball, people bet hockey, people bet baseball, but nothing like football, nothing like the NFL, nothing like college. Mm-hmm. So the American Gaming Association says that they predict 73.5 million wow. adults, 30% of the 21 and older American population, 73.5 million will bet on at least one NFL game this season. Is that more than ever before? <clears throat> more than ever before. Yeah. Uh, it was, uh, it's 27 million more than last year. Okay. Yeah, because that seems like it's, it's like, you know, they probably didn't do too much recording of this stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's... It's crazy, and fifty million. Yeah, you know, I mean, two thirds ish will be will be uh, betting online. Okay, fifty million will be betting online. Okay, so um, get ready for it. You know, and, yeah. you know, we'll be talking about it all season long. Again, people who live in Arizona, we've got a deal in Arizona with one of the sports books there that if you make a ten dollar bet. You can get LVA membership along with the member rewards book and, and the whole schmear, right? Right. So we're going to be, um, with football season coming up, we thought we'd have more deals by now. Mm-hmm. But it's just we've been busy with other things, but we'll be making them and you know, we'll announce them as we go. Okay, cool. And, and just to note, because I know you kind of glossed over that quickly, uh, we'll put up a, a link uh, if you want to sign up to the, uh, for the Arizona. If you're in uh, Arizona. Yeah. And our, you know what? Our question of the week will kind of overlaps with the reason you got to be in Arizona. We'll, so we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so we know football season is starting. Uh, let's talk about the football contests, Anthony. Yeah, well, we're there. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, the, the deadline for the two big ones is this Saturday. Oh, so okay. There's only a couple days. Circa is at 2 p.m. on Saturday. Westgate is at 3 p.m. on Saturday. How are we looking with the overlays? Well, all right, so here's what we got. Yeah. As of today, or at least, uh, you know, the what we can see on their, on their tally sheet uh, Survivor has 7,224. Okay. So they only right. need 800 more okay. to, to, to hit break even. Okay. So it doesn't look like that's going to happen mm-hmm. because a lot of signups will come in the next couple of days. Okay. A million, though, circa million, is only at 4,177, meaning they need almost 2,000. Okay. Almost 2,000 in about three days. Okay. I don't think that one's going to make it. I think we're going to see an overlay there. Okay. So, you know, um, I'm going to play both. And actually, I'm going down today to sign up when I go down to play the uh, tournament at uh, Downtown Grand today, yep. which we're going to talk about next. Um, I'm going to sign up for the uh, for both of those contests because they're going to be they're going to be you know it's 100 percent equity million might be an overlay. Um, one thing I'll tell everyone who's playing the tournaments: remember to don't forget to put your picks in. Right. Because that's what everybody, that's the big mistake that everybody makes. You know, they make, they're excited to do and whatever, and they forget and they miss the deadline to put their picks in. This will be our third year reporting on this. Yeah. So we do, I remember there's been times where we say, oh, and then there were a few people who didn't put their picks in this week. Yeah. <laughs> I was one of them once. So, but anyway. <laughs> All right. So, um, so contests are here. As you know, it's Thursday, so we do our weekly blackjack tournament at the Downtown Grand. Uh, but today's going to be unique because there's a blackjack tournament, and today is going to be the first video poker tournament right. at the Downtown Grand as well. Mm-hmm. The uh, blackjack tournament starts at 3, as always, mm-hmm. and then uh, sign-up starts at 5 o'clock for video poker, mm-hmm. and that will start at 6. Okay. So we've got the information on that, uh, how it's going to be structured. You're going to have, they're going to be four-minute rounds. So you're going to play as fast as you can for four minutes. There's four minutes or 500 points. Okay. Now, some people might remember Andrew Kahneman was on the show with us uh, about a month ago. The live stream, yeah. Right. And Andrew says, you know, some people can get through that 500. I'm like, nobody's going to get through the 500. Right. That ain't going to happen, man. Yeah. I mean, that's... 100 hands per minute. Mm-hmm. All right, so 500 points, it's, you know, five coins. So that's that's uh, 400 hands. Right. That means 100 hands per minute, which would be 6,000 hands per hour. Okay. All right, now, 
the world record is held by a guy named Lou Antonius. Okay. His record is 2,262 hands in one hour. All right, so 2,262 is a record. Nobody's going to hit 5,000. Mm-hmm. All right, and we've got, I think we've got some video up on that uh, or a link to it with Antonius playing. You see how fast he's going. Yes, uh, we'll, we'll do a, a link in the description box for the video. Okay, good. If it's not up on the screen already. Um, but that means, you know what that means? Is that means speed counts. Yeah. All right, and when you're playing, when you play this tournament, we talked about this before. Haul ass. Yeah, that's what you want to do. You don't want to worry about making mistakes. You want to haul ass. Mm-hmm. Now there are the faster you go, you get two, three, four, five more spins in four minutes. You have a significant tangible advantage over the other players. Right. Okay. And some will get as many as ten or fifteen more, maybe twenty more spins. They have a very big advantage. Mm-hmm. Now there is some strategy. The best book for that is uh, Gene Scott's Frugal Video Poker. Okay. There's a, a subchapter on strategy for video poker tournaments, mm-hmm. and it's important, but it's not as important to speed. And in this week's question of the week, it comes to us from the comments section of our YouTube page. And it says, Circa sent out an email flyer with the football pools and it said, make your first entry at Circa and then make your weekly bets from anywhere via their app. I read it to mean that I didn't have to be in Nevada, which is different from what you had said previously. Uh, Can subsequent bets be made from anywhere? Thanks. My wife and I look forward to your video each week, and we use our LVA coupon book extensively. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. Good little ad for the Memory Rewards book. Yeah, well, it's fun, yeah. especially if you if you you know have a partner, you go run around town. It's, yeah, it's great. Absolutely. But uh, to answer the question, um, you can use the app to bet. Um, on the games. You usually have to, well, you, not usually, you have to go down and sign up or fund an account in person. You have okay. to give them money, so you've got to go down and do it. But then you can bet on the app, but only in, if you are physically in Nevada. Right, so it'll geo-target you like, like the WSOP yeah. app, and it'll say, oh, you're in Nevada, you can play right. for money. So, so that wording there, they said from anywhere, they should have said from anywhere in Nevada. Yeah. And that's the way it is in every state. Okay. You've got to be within the boundaries of the state. Now, we talked about the the deal we have in Arizona, same thing. You can get this great deal where you get the LVA for free by betting 10 bucks, mm-hmm. but you have to be in Arizona mm-hmm. when you do it. Otherwise, it won't work. You could be in Nevada and go across the state line and do it. Yeah. Or any other state. If you're going through Arizona, you could do it there because you don't have to bet anymore after the first 10. But all of that, you know, to answer this question, you have to be physically within the state borders everywhere because mm-hmm. it's state by state to, in order to, uh, to get a bet in via an app. Okay. So if you're in Nevada, you go check out the Hoover Dam, and then just go a little bit past it. You'll be in Arizona. If you want to do that one, yeah. <laughs> but for, yeah, but for this one at Circa, you know, no, you must be in Nevada. Yeah. And in this week's Jackpot of the Week, it comes to us from Fran T. Uh, my game of choice is Double Double Bonus, but on a whim, I changed it to Deuces Wild while playing at the Valley View Casino in Southern California. When I was dealt four deuces with a eight times... Multiplier, $4,000 jackpot, a once-in-a-lifetime deal. All right. <clears throat> Sometimes it's good to play on a whim. Yeah. Right? It worked out this time. Definitely. Uh, Deuces Wild, Super Times Pay, the schedule she's playing, not too good, 95.96. That's pretty bad. Uh, yeah. But um, you know, obviously it worked out. Six coin, It's a six-coin game. We've talked about Super Times before. You have to bet six. You get paid five. But every once in a while, these multipliers come up. That's right. And they apply to all the lines. She had an eight-time multiplier. So instead of getting, when she got the deuces dealt, mm-hmm. instead of getting 1,000, she got uh, 8,000 coins. Incredible. On each one. Right. Which worked out to uh, to 4K payoff. Yeah. It was $800 good. a line. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a fun game. I like that. She's, you know, she's playing for dimes. You can usually play Super Time for dimes or nickels. Yes. So it's, it's kind of a fun game to pl- to play, even if even if the schedules aren't too good. Um, one thing we can say about this, we've talked about this in the past, mm-hmm. uh, she's playing Deuces Wild, and she got dealt the, the four Deuces, so mm-hmm. she should have kept all five cards. You can't get better than, you cannot improve on the Deuces Wild, so why take a chance? That's right. If you're playing a game, you know, if she was playing uh, Deuces Wild bonus, mm-hmm. then Deuces with an ace, now you draw, because That's Deuces right. with an ace is an extra pay. But on regular Deuces Wild, or any game where you cannot improve a hand, you keep all five just on the off chance that there is some kind of a malfunction. If you keep all five, there can be no malfunction, and it's just the safest way to go. And that's a pro tip for video poker. There it is. 
Uh, that's it for this week, guys. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. We did get some additional subscribers last week. I know I set it up front in the beginning. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll get some more subscribers uh, this time. So uh, that's it for this week. Anything to add, Anthony? Uh, no, we're, um, we're still working out the timetable on uh, our next live feed. Okay. But it's not going to be next week. It's probably going to be the following week. Okay. And in this week's Jackpot of the Week, it comes to us from Fran T. Uh, hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs>